I'm dressed up because I'm actually officiating a funeral for a lovely lady, Trisha Dahlheimer's grandmother, who passed away, just loved Jesus. And so that's this morning at 11. And yesterday I was at the VA visiting a friend who, who actually has a hard time even feeding himself now. And so uh, really what's on my mind is life is short. James chapter 4 says life is but a vapor. It appears for a while, man, and then it's gone. And so uh, like yesterday spending time with my friend at the VA and today this funeral, I just want to redeem the time. Like every space I'm in with my wife, with my kids, with my staff, with my neighbors, with my friends, just bring God into the center of that space and if you're really down right now like you're not getting what you want like you're not getting the boyfriend or girlfriend you want or your spouse isn't acting the way you thought they should act or your kids or your parents or whatever like your job's going bad or perhaps you've been given a ticket of poor health by a doctor and say it's it's like all the junk's hitting the fan please know that all your answers are in God and the truth is uh, most of the promises in the Bible given to us will not be realized till we're face to face with Jesus. Just want to make that really clear. Once in a while there's super grace and there's super uh, communication from God and he shares with you through his word or through another person or through a dream or a vision what is going on and he'll give you great hope. But oftentimes it's persevere to the end. Trust me to the end and you will be saved. And glory is going to be great. Listen, this uh, wonderful grandmother, mother, that I'm going to be officiating her funeral, just reading about her and her, her life, it's just, she lived it to the full and she loved Jesus, she was characterized by joy. And just reading that and preparing for this message, that's what I want to do. If I were to die, I want people to say, you know, Pastor Dave, Dave, he was, he was filled with joy despite the circumstances. And so trust God, be encouraged. If you're really down, find a Christian that you can pray with and just encourage each other. Irons sharpen iron. So that's the word for today. Remember, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Jesus won the war on the cross. And all those little battles we have, some of them we win, some of them we lose. But in the end, we win. Have a great day.